Hey guys, it's Victoria, and this is going to be part three of how to leave conventional work behind and how to make money online. So it's kind of like, where have you been? Um, it's kind of a long story. I'll get into that in my next video, do more of like a personal update. Basically, um, my computer crashed and my camera broke at the same time, basically, and I, I lost a lot of stuff, um, so I did lose the part three footage. <laughs> But I am back on track, and I'm going to kind of just do a new one for you. I mean, it's not going to be the same, of course, but I have have a lot to say on this topic, so I'm excited about it. Well, if you haven't seen my last two videos, check them out. I'm a, I have one video that talks about kind of how just to get in the mindset of leaving conventional work behind and really what that means. Um, my next video is more detailed and talks about how you can do it and talk so websites where you can make money online and gives you some ideas on jobs that you can do while you're traveling. There's scary bugs everywhere I go. The most important thing to think about um, if you are thinking about kind of getting away from the commute and, and leaving the whole 9 to 5, maybe doing like a 9 to thrive, um, that kind of thing, the most important thing to think about is your passion and to really think about it because if someone just asked you, oh, what is your passion? I'm sure within four seconds we could all come up with an answer, but that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. I'm talking about taking time to really think about it and thinking deeper inside you. I mean, maybe I'll say, oh, I love to cook. Like, cooking is my passion, but it's it's not. There, There's more inside you. There's more things that kind of resonate with you on a different level and that I would say is your passion. Um, I am a human rights major so everything I do kind of stems from that and maybe uh, maybe for you it's something different but it's no matter what I'm doing I'm always trying to bring it back to my passion and bring something that I deeply care about into my work and my business otherwise Really, for me, it's not worthwhile, it's not um, fulfilling. The whole idea of gaining your freedom in, um, in this sense is really just to do something that I'm passionate about, to do something that I love, and to be able to live a happy and healthy life while doing it and because of it. So that's what's really important to me is, you know, you hear a lot of stories about people who uh, retire at a very old age and they look back and say that they worked a job for many years that they maybe didn't like. Now they're probably too old to travel. Not that that is the most important thing in the world to everyone, there's something different. But I think waiting until you're, you're too old to achieve that because you had to work your whole life just to get to the point where you are um, more financially stable doesn't it just doesn't work for me I'm uh, like right now how I've been living my life has been a, a little bit more like work for a month travel for a month uh, work for a year travel for a year that type of idea and it's working for me so as long as as you don't mind a little bit of an adventure <laughs> it can work for you too working on a passion project or maybe they just you know, left conventional work and they're now doing more flex work or remote jobs or something like that. So there's a lot of, you could even join Facebook groups, you could um, join a co-working place in your city and just get to know people because at first the thought seems kind of unobtainable. I mean, you hear about some people who sold everything and moved to Thailand and now they're living off the land or something, but you can't really ever picture yourself doing that depending on you know your circumstances or how long you've been working for it's really hard to imagine you know that that could be your life and not just like a fairy tale or something you read about on the internet and for me that is really a big part of it because I started traveling thinking you know I'm only gonna be gone a couple months and then I'll come home I'll have to be an intern get a job <laughs> sounds so awful <laughs> no. but it just wasn't it just wasn't what I was looking for, so I didn't know where to turn or what to do. I just knew that it's not my path, but I just, you know, I put that out there. It's not my path, and I let things come to me, and what happened was I met some very inspiring people. I met people from all over the world who had been doing things I didn't know people were successfully doing, 
am living a different kind of lifestyle, one without all the excess and you know consumerism that we face in North America a lot and that people struggle with and that's where a lot of their income goes. I met people who run their own business and people who were just starting, some people who were super successful and other people who had failed, which is important too. And for me, that is what really set everything into motion and really made me understand that, you know, I can do this, you can do this. And that's pretty cool. That is basically everything I want to talk about today. Just kind of like ramble and recap <laughs> my two favorite things. I do lots more videos on this subject, so make sure to subscribe. And you can like or share this video, or you can comment, and I'll be sure to comment back if you have any questions. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it really got you thinking about what you want to do with your life, and where you are right now, and if you're happy. Because of course you can be happy in an office job, and you can just love the crap out of that office job and that's cool too it's just you know there's there's many options that's all I want to say is if that office job isn't for you there is other options out there and there are other people who think the same and who are on the same path as you which is pretty damn cool so yeah go out meet some people have some fun and make a business out of it bye